Hi, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about the much awaited funyin, how to ex how to uh, actually find out if you're going through a funyin and advices and tips on how to actually handle if you are actually going through a funyin year. Okay? So, as you can see, I have braces so <laughs> there's some adjustment in how I speak bear with me. But it's also part of the process that I actually uh, decided on doing because there are a lot of things I needed to make some changes. Yes. So if you're going through a fun in year, um, this is one of the pillars that would, in terms of, uh, say, annual, your luck pillar, even month. Uh, usually when you go through a fun in, this is going to be a time where there's so much changes and so much challenges. And which is why this is one of the most dreaded combination that is sort of attacking your day master. Okay, because there's a lot of uh, unforeseen challenges ahead. But I'm fortunate enough that uh, when I was starting to read and understand how to read the Apache chart, I was able to identify years ahead that I was going through a funyin. Okay, so before I even proceed, how do you even know that you're going to go through a Fanyin? If there is a clash in your heavenly stems and there is a clash in your um, earthly stems, that actually indicates that you are going through a Fanyin. And most of the time, if I'm not mistaken, uh, during your heavenly stem, there's a seven killings. Okay, not all, however, not all day masters have the same uh, clash, but this is the most common observation that I've actually found. Uh, so if you're going through that, it would be best two years or at least a year ahead of time. You have to prepare your actions or it best to actually dictate your strategy years or two years ahead of time. So you'd know or be able to have um, control of the narrative in, in a sense of what's going to happen within your funding year. What do I mean? Now, like I mentioned a while ago, since I knew ahead of time, what I did was uh, the first two years prior to my fun yin, I was very active. I was being a go-getter. I was trying, I was doing a lot of things, focusing on my uh, career. I was doing a lot of um, positive changes or progressive changes in terms of my career. And I wasn't, work I wasn't, I was actually working nonstop. In a nutshell, okay, just to achieve growth in terms of my career. Now came the first year, or the first part of my fun year, what I did was to rest. So I dictated the changes, okay? So that's the first part of what I did uh, within uh, my fun year, which is to rest, the first part. And then second half is I started doing some changes that I didn't actually do the past two years, okay? And then um, there are a lot of things that happened that was out of my control. But uh, anyways, I'll talk about the good things that happened and at the same time, talk about the bad things that happened within um, my fun year. So, uh, so this is not scripted, you can see, right? So I just, I, I'm just going to keep on talking. And I hope that with the teachings that I'm uh, about to give you, you would learn how to manage uh, this, this kind of pillar or this kind of, um, yes, pillar in terms of uh, when it's attacking your uh, day master. So anyways, so the good things that happened within my uh, 2020, yeah, my, my funny year, because this might be, you might be watching this in a different kind of year. So um, what I did was first again to rest and then I did some changes. And uh, with the changes that happened uh, that I did initiated the second half, I actually, good news, I, I, I was actually offered for uh, uh, another job position. Uh, I actually was offered a branch head for one of the insurance institution. You know? And then... Um, on top of that, there are a lot of things that I did with my posting in terms of uh, giving content and value to others. I changed my strategy. Uh, that's one of the things. And because of that, um, I sort of scaled up in terms of uh, where I performed or I, who invited me, corporations that invited me in order to talk about the forecast of 2022. 
So I had a lot of uh, uh, wealth opportunities in, in, a, in a sense because there are a lot of changes that, that I did in terms of my business or in terms of my uh, strategy. And because of those changes, it did give me progression uh, in terms of um opportunities okay i just had to reiterate just to make sure that i actually laid it out clearly and then however of course during those changes there are no up people or there are set of individuals that wouldn't even agree or found are found it offensive um so there were uh some changes in terms of close friends or relationships uh, wherein there was a sort of a rift that happened. So I, we anticipated that. I also told my husband ahead of time, every time I'm going to go through any changes or even him, because we have this almost not have the same, we almost have the same day master. And so it, I always give him advice or at least ahead of time, give him warning that this is going to be a difficult month for us and so on and so forth. Uh, so there, uh, because of those changes and progression, there were people that aren't us welcoming and which caused us some difficult uh, argument or disputes or disagreements within uh, closer relationships but of course we accepted that and which is why instead of uh, retaliating we took us me and my husband took a step back and analyzed the situation because we understood and understand where the individual was coming from in addition to the space that we actually did yeah, as a reaction to uh, the reaction towards my fine, uh, career growth, uh, in, in addition to the space that we actually gave, we also decided, me and my husband, to actually totally quit uh, drinking alcohol. We hardly drink alcohol, actually. We don't really drink as much. But then we realized it's better to actually just totally not consume. It's better for our health uh, in the long run. And uh, the recovery or the hangover experience that we may ex encounter is actually, we found it a waste of time and resources, and which is why we fully decided on not drinking at all. Uh, and in addition to that, of course, these braces, as much as I hate it, actually the first day that it was placed, I wanted to remove it. But I know that this is part of the process in order to improve on my health in terms of my teeth and um, my jaw, everything. Anything that's improving ourselves is the focus of our uh, change within uh, 2021 or my funny year. Okay. And then um, uh, one of the hardest months that we actually, I had to go through was actually October and um january okay so you by now you might be aware of what kind of day master i have but basically one of the difficult months was actually the, the october primarily because there were changes with the personal relationship that we were dealing with and the worst by far of all the months that i had to go through was january this was where the complete um pillar or uh yeah, pillar that I had for uh, basically it summarized the uh, fine year for that particular month. Just to just to say in a nutshell, so I don't have to talk about technicals. So it was the January, the full impact of what my fine year was, and it was quite difficult because upon entering the month, uh, we and my husband were both emotional. We had we actually we had a huge fight, and then when we uh, stepped away. I sort of told him, hey, it's the first day of uh, my Funyun month. And then we both understood. And this time, it was easier for us to actually move past that. And whatever actions that we did towards each other or said, rather, uh, it was easy for us to move forgive and, and move on. Primarily because we understood that we just let, uh, allowed or we... Um, we were not able to control our emotion to get the best of ourselves. Okay, so uh, accepting that we were human beings and then we moved on. So anyways, I thought that was over. I thought, is this it? The seven the, or the fun yin? Uh, I spoke too soon. Okay, so what happened was um, 
uh, upon uh, as we were going through uh, the, the Funyan month, we were actually uh, we experienced scam beings almost getting almost scammed by a, a, a close neighbor. Okay, and basically, I want you to actually take care of your deposit slips. What this person or this couple did was they actually got hold of our past deposit slips and then um, accused us of doing some transactions wherein they were not able to get some goods. Uh, if, you, if you have been following me for, for quite a long time, you probably know by now that I have several businesses. And one of them is SVR Infinity, and that's where we sell uh, skincare products, which is now being man managed by my husband. He's doing it full time. Uh, so, anyways, this this uh, going back to the topic. Uh, so, anyways, this this two couple were using our deposit slip, and then they were accusing us of um, not giving them the services that they paid for. But upon checking uh, the history, and this, this deposit slip were actually from October, August, or September. It was a few deposit slips, and it was made in 2020. And then we backtracked. There was no transaction between them. As a matter of fact, with those deposit slips, uh, the individual we were transacting them wasn't them. Okay. Of course, as a business owner, all business uh, people know this, that every transaction, as much as possible, you want it to be documented. And uh, to give you uh, basically an overview if you're earning or not within that year. And which is why we were diligent with all the details. And there, we were able to see that we never transacted with us. And then this couple, this wife, uh, accused you know, made some accusation with me having to do with a husband, which I, I we never met. And then basically, it was chaos. Okay. But the good thing about having to know that you're going to have a difficult month, regardless of how chaos or challenging that month, it's easier to stay calm. Okay. And me and my husband, although yes, it did affect us for a, quite a while, and then, uh, but it allowed us to stay calm. And because of being calm, what the couple did, just to give you more information, they actually went to our office at the, during a holiday. And then my husband confronted them and then said that, okay, I'll get back to you and so on. I will have to check our data. Okay, so what we did the next day, fortunately, was a, an, a working day. We went straight to the bank. We had it investigated, and upon the discovery of the, the, the bank, it was us who deposited the, the funds using that deposit slip. So they had nothing to do um, with our deposits. They just basically just got hold of our deposit slips, and it's not, they're now using it against us. Okay, So which is why you have to be careful of all your deposit slips. So people won't use it against you. <laughs> so there. And upon finding out, we actually reported to authorities. And we are still working with them to further investigate. Uh, but all of this happened because we were calm. Okay? As much as possible, the most difficult month, you w want to really pick your battles as much as possible. If something that's not uh, going to be of value of your time and effort or your wealth, let it go. Okay. But if say, for instance, an issue such as this requires much of your time, uh, you would want to focus your energy on because this is again, a, a problem that could be blown out of proportion if we are not able to take care of it. But of course, you are, won't be able to take care of big problems if you are not willing to let go of the ones that don't matter. Okay, so that's one uh, input that I want to give you. So, so much changes within 2020, uh, sorry, not 2020, my funny year. But at the end of the day, the learnings, the number one learning that I had is, um, or have, is that to be picky of your bat battles and then um, stay calm as much as possible. And... Uh, and always remember that during this time, you are going to be emotional. And if you are going to become emotional, and you find out that you became emotional, you allowed your emotion to get the best of you. Just calm down, apologize to anybody you hurt. And then um, 
move on and forgive yourself. You know, it is part of human nature. And at least you know now and you know what, how to act now from that information. At the end of the day, it's awareness. If you have the opportunity to have the awareness so you'd be pre much more prepared, all the challenges that will come will be easy, easier to handle. Okay, it will be easier to handle and uh, it wouldn't be so overwhelming that could make you feel stuck. Okay, so that's my advice. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.